I've been using this dial indicator to check my case length after resizing for a little while now and I became aware of um, a dilemma while, while doing that. Since I'm using range brass um, I get some 357 mixed in with my 38s and also some 10 millimeter mixed in with the 40 cal. So when I'm sizing the 38s, resizing the 38s or the 40 cal and uh, one of the other cases sneaks in because it's so much longer, uh, this thing tends to bottom out and uh, gets pushed out of adjustment. Now um, I may have mentioned in the other video this has 50 thousandths of an inch travel. I chose that range because it gives me a lot of resolution on the dial makes it easier to read quickly uh, as opposed to having one of these with a lot of travel but not much resolution. So there's a trade-off there uh, to be aware of if, if you decide to rig up something like this that's what can occur. So again basically when I get, get a, a 357 case mixed in at my 38s this thing will go to the end of its travel bottom out and, uh, and the case will generally push this out of adjustment. It doesn't seem to have caused any damage to the indicator. It's still uh, zeros in the, in the same position. And also when I compare it with, the, with uh, my digital caliper, um, it, it's a, everything's in the green. I, I always double check this thing with the digital caliper caliper while I'm running, just the same as, as I check my powder dose while I'm reloading, just to make sure everything is um, where I want it to be. So again, that's something to be aware of if, you, uh, if you're going to use something like this and it's only got 50 thousandths of an inch of travel and you got brass, it's all mixed up, uh, might be doing might be doing damage to it. I really don't know. I'm not, a, not an expert on this. Uh, just be aware of that.